What's going on guys? Today we're going to be adding a button. I was thinking of what I was going to say. We're going to be adding a button to pick an option randomly and also we're going to build a small application so that way and this application is just for you to actually if you actually know the fundamentals and and we're going to build it and I'm going to tell you how not really how to I'm going to show you the final how it should look like and I want you guys to actually build it for yourself. And this will actually determine if you actually know the fundamentals or you don't and you might need to review some of the video again. But it's very, very, very simple. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. This video should be pretty short since you already know how to do it or you should know how to do this next bit. So what we're going to be doing is creating another button and on this button, when someone clicks on it, we're gonna just generate, or we're gonna alert uh, an option, a random option they, that from their choice, okay? That's it, that's all we're going to do. So, down here, I'm gonna create another button. On click, we're gonna make another method called, uh, let's, let's name it, on random decision. Uh, misspelled it decision and instead of remove all I'm just going to say what should I do all right and now we got to make a method up here so I'm gonna just do it below this remove all const paste equals arrow function and all of this should be very, you should know this by now, okay guys? And right now, on in this inside this uh, function, what we're going to do is create a random number that is the length of this array, whatever the option array is, we're gonna create that. And we're also going to just grab a random decision with that random number and just alert it. That's all we're going to do. So I'm just going to create a cont with ran number num. It's going to equal math dot random so math at random spits out a number between zero and one it could be decimals it doesn't matter we don't want decimals though we want uh let me let me show you what's going on so that way you know exactly what's going on random control save all right we're gonna inspect this sucker obviously if i start clicking this look at that zero is a zero it, like i said zero through one but it has all these decimals or floats or whatever you want to call it and this is not what we want and plus we don't want zero through one we want the range of zero through whatever this number is on options so what we have to do now is just multiply that by at dot options dot length to get that options length array and now uh let's go right here And we're going to get zero. That's why the reason why is because we have zero options. Let's add a few. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right. Now we actually start. Now you see that we're getting good numbers right now. And yes, six should be the very last one. You should never see a seven because we're, we're counting with machines. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is correct. But we still have these decimals. I want to get rid of those. And we're going to be doing some, we're going to be adding math dot floor, which will round down. Control save. Now let me do it again. A, B, C, D. Uh, now you get full numbers. Okay. Awesome. All right. And now. This is pretty much simple from here on out. We're going to create another const. Const. Um, I'm going to name it option. We're going to get an option. And we're going to set that equal to app dot option. Op options, the array options. And we're going to just throw in that ran number that we got. And this will give us an option back. And all we're going to do now is alert that option onto the screen control save now so a b c d e f g okay f okay 
F A. Okay, now it's, it's, it's random. But yeah, this was a simple uh, thing to do, guys. Uh, it, it, it's not that hard. It really isn't. It wasn't. It shouldn't have been that hard. If it was, then you might want to look at the other videos that I've created. Um, but now, guys, it's time for uh, for you to actually build a mini application to do it yourselves. And the reason why I want to do this is because this, first of all, this will actually teach you or not teach you. This will actually let you know if you know the fundamentals. If you don't, then I would recommend going back and watching the videos or if my video wasn't good enough, maybe watch someone else's because this, once you, if you know how to build this app, this is the very basics, the fundamentals of React. And if you do know this, it will greatly, you will, it will, <sighs> it's hard. You will have a, a better time understanding the more complex things that we're going to go through in the next couple of videos or few videos, actually. So inside of source, we're going to create a new file called, I mean, a new folder called fun. And we're going to create a new file called toggle.js. Let me get rid of all this control save. Okay. Now what we're going to do in toggle.js is this is the mini application I was talking to you about. In this mini application, what I want you to do is create a, a headline or a component that's gonna have a headline up here, a button that says hide paragraph, and then once you click on it, the button text should say showing paragraph or showing text, whatever, and it should show a paragraph down here. It's just a small paragraph. It could be lower mipsum if you want. And when you click it again, it should get rid of that paragraph and the button text should change to Hide or show paragraph. Okay, it should toggle between show paragraph and hide paragraph. The button text and also the paragraph down here should toggle off and on. Okay, that's that's literally, that's literally what I want you to do. Just create a component, and you're gonna be doing it inside toggle.js. And we we do need to do um in package.json. We do need to add another script so that way we could actually run the script of toggle.js instead of the app.js. So we just build a, uh, I, I wrote a build for fun, or let's actually just call it fun, a script called fun. And we're going to just run Babel on the toggle.js and we're still going to output it to the app.js up above, which is the script right here. So don't worry about that. Now in our terminal, let's get rid of this control C and we're going to do yarn, yarn fun and you should start saying yes source fun toggle okay awesome control save and obviously we should get an error yes sdf is not defined okay now it's actually running from this file instead so i want you guys to actually do this application on yourself like pause the video because i'm going i am going to go through it right now but pause the video try to figure it out for yourself it should be fairly simple. Um, and then once you're done, or if you can't just play the video. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a function like we did before const render. Oops. What am I doing? Const render. Uh, I just like making it look pretty const template. You can name this whatever you want, but template is going to equal something with, you know, JSX inside of it. Actually, I'm going to just call this JSX. So you know what it, exactly what this is. So JSX and what we want to do with that JSX is actually we're going to render it to the DOM. So the way we do that is react dom dot render and remember render takes in two properties or two um uh arguments the thing that you want to render so the thing we want to render is jsx and where do you want to render it at so document dot re or get element sorry i'm getting by id and we're going to get it we're going to render it in the app div the one we created all right so this is the uh i guess boilerplate for react component and inside of this now it gets to the point where we actually start building at our our template so div 
And then that's our singular group. Remember, we need a singular group. And I'm just creating an H1 right here. H1. H1. All right. In this H1, I'm just going to say toggle mini ah that's it that's our header all right below that we like i said we are going to have a button so let's create a button i don't know why i'm saying like that but let's create a button <laughs> and i'm gonna just say um Oh yeah, remember this button toggles between once you show the, the the button text toggles. So the way I'm going to do this literally is I'm gonna create a JSX expression inside of this. So remember JSX expression is just uh, curly braces and then the expression you want to put in there. So the expression that I want to put in here is an if else statement or a tenary expression, tenary or whatever. You know you know what I'm talking about. Where if it's true, then I want you to show this text. If it's false, then show this text. And to do that, I'm going to just go up here. And I'm going to create a constant toggle. I'm going to set that equal to false. Now we can use this variable up here. And I'm going to say toggle. Dude. Toggle. All right. So if toggle is true, then I want you to say hide details. Else, I want you to sh say show details. Control save. And we don't have anything. Let me see what's going on. We should have something in here. Where's my button? Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, right, sorry guys, we do need to forget one more thing. Since we did create a function up here, we do need to call out our render function. And this will actually render out our React DOM render. I forgot, I completely forgot about that. So here it is, show details. Obviously if you click on it, we haven't uh, created a uh, click event, so Let's do that right now on a click. It's going to equal our JSX expression. And we're going to just say toggle text just like that. So up above, I'm sorry, I hit the mic. I'm going to create a const called toggle test as you guessed toggle text. All right, so this is where we're gonna start, uh, you know, toggling our text. So we're, I'm gonna say toggle, the variable we created up above is going to equal not toggle. And then we're gonna shoot the render method again so that way it re-renders. So what this does right here, I'm saying that toggle is going to e equal the opposite of what toggle is right now. Right, so this is on click. So if I click it right now, it's gonna to toggle it to true because right now not false is true. And then if I just you know it's just toggling. So we got that out, we got that out of the way. Now it's time for um to actually show a paragraph down here, right? So we got that out of the way. Now down here I'm gonna create a JSX expression. Another JS expression. You're gonna see these a lot, guys. So get used to it. And I'm just going to say, and we're gonna do that one method like we did over here. Uh, where is it at? Right here. If app dot sub subtitle, we're gonna spit out this uh, paragraph tag. Right. This is what we did. So we're gonna do that exactly the same thing right there, right here. And I'm going to say, toggle. If toggle is true. I want you to spit out and I'm going to just wrap this, uh, this group or this component in a uh, parentheses and I want you to spit out. I'm going to actually split it into another div. 
div dash div and inside of this div I'm just create a paragraph a p tag and I'm just put some knots in here hey made you click I have no idea man I'm I'm not a creative guy <laughs> so so uh, if you control save now now if it actually shows true it should say hey made you click and if you hide details it may uh, disappears and that is it we have created a simple application uh, yeah I mean what what's what's up that's it <laughs> it was a pretty simple video guys I, I this is literally the last video for fundamentals and it's not gonna be this boring no more uh, is very very simple and by the way if you ever want to get out of Babel again or uh, run the other Babel let's get it run and just yarn build and it should show a uh, or your bucket list again okay ooh, ooh, ooh. if you just stick to the end I, I did we could do one more thing on this button we could actually make it disabled right now it's enabled you see that how it's enabled uh, we should make this disabled because we have no options okay and there's actually a way to do that and it's called literally called this a bold and we're gonna set that equal to you could make this equal be true or false it does not matter true control save see now it's disabled no one can click on it if we say false control save you can start clicking on it but we want it to be true and actually we want it to be uh, relevant to the number of the length of the options array okay so what I'm going to say if app dot options dot length equals zero and this will spit out a true or false and right now it does equal zero so it should say it should be disabled but if we start adding stuff into it now it's undis uh, or well it's not disabled I was gonna say undisabled but yeah but it's not disabled no more so that's just a quick if you stick to the end that's great um now you have this little one more feature that you could have added if you wanted to but that is it guys that um, I promise you that this is it for the for the fundamentals for the basics of react in the next video we're gonna start going more into depth about react components we're gonna start going into depth about class components uh, binding events uh, props nesting components you know we're gonna, we're gonna just start adding a lot of complexity to this uh, how to actually make apps a bit better or react better um, so stick around guys you, you're gonna learn a lot if, if you're a beginner you are gonna learn a lot, obviously but if you're uh, experienced on this you stick around you might learn something or two um, but thank you go what Thank you guys so much for actually watching my videos, guys. And um, if you haven't, please consider subscribing. It will help out. It will help me out a lot. And um, like the video and leave a comment down below on what you would want to see it on React. If you actually want me to build an application or add something to the React, this application we're building right now, this bucket list. If you want me to add something to it, just lay it down in the comments and I'll probably make a video for it as well. So thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.